howdy, Immortalium here, and today I'm going to do a review. Um, but this review is a little different to the reviews that I normally do. Um, usually when I do a review of a manga series, um, you know, I've read it recently. Um, I've read it from the beginning to the end, um, straight, with, you know, pretty much no delays. So, you know, it's as fresh as possible in my mind. Um, so that's how I usually go, and because of that, there are several manga series where, you know, I have been un unable to get, you know, the other volumes until later, and therefore have chosen not to do a review of it, because, you know, I don't really feel that I'm up to the task of reviewing it. But this series is too important to me um, to ignore. Um, I recently completed this, and um, you guys already know it from the title. It is With the Light. Raising an Autistic Child. Now, this is one of my favorite manga series, and um, I, I just I don't hear anyone you know really discuss it online. Um, I don't really hear any people um, kind of you know talking. You know, I haven't ever seen this in another person's top ten before, um, and I just think that's um, you know a great shame. You know, I'm sure if a lot more people read it, um, a lot more people would you know include this you know in you know best manga that they've read. Um, I don't really know how it did sales-wise. I obviously it sold well enough that you know all the volumes got released in English. But um, beyond that, I have no clue as to you know how it sold. So I don't know how Yen Press did from this. But anyway, let's stop talking about that for the moment. Let's talk about what the series is about. So um, with the light, uh, very first scene um, is actually the birth of a child. Um, you know, it's not gruesome actually. It's just you know like like right after the child's been you know born. You know, when the parents are finally able to, you know, hold the child and, you know, they're discussing everything. Um, we are introduced to the two parents of um, the Azuma family. Um, Masato Azuma, who's the father, and Sachiko Azuma, who's the mother. And their baby has just been born. And because of the fact that the son looks so beautiful when it was born, um, you know, it's morning and the morning light's seeping in and it looks beautiful. Um, they decide to call their baby Hikaru. Um, and because also Hikaru means like the light of their life, so that's how important the new baby is to them. And as you can guess, you know, with most new mothers, Sachiko has done a lot of research into you know how um, children act as they grow up. Um, you know, you know what, how do they respond to people? You know, what you should do um, to solve problems for them. And it's okay for about maybe a year or two, but. Over time, she starts to realize that Hikaru isn't acting like a normal baby. Um, you know, he you know he doesn't really respond much to her. Um, he doesn't really respond well to other children, etc., um, etc. Et and she gets him diagnosed um, with autism, and of course, she doesn't really understand what autism is. Um, in fact, um, autism in Japanese, I found this quite fascinating. Autism in Japanese, um, the kanji that makes up autism. Um, actually reads out as self-closing syndrome, um, which, you know, is, you know, quite surprising. That's certainly not what autism is, but I guess, you know, back in the olden days, um, you know, I guess maybe a lot of people would have interpreted autism as that, because, you know, people, autistics have difficulty communicating with people. So anyway, that's um, just something I thought was quite interesting. Anyway, um, as time goes on, um, you know, Sachiko um, is trying her best to deal with Hikaru, but uh, Masato doesn't really understand what's wrong with um, Hikaru, and he begins to blame her, mainly because his mother, or her mother-in-law, um, begins to give out to her, um, particularly after this um, event, um, this scene that ha happens in a um, Buddhist temple. Um, the chanting, um, you know, kind of irritates Hikaru, and, um, you know, he starts wailing and screaming, etc., etc., um, so, um, you know, it's a big embarrassment for the family. Um, so, you know, Sachiko, you know, is absolutely driven to the wit's end on this. Um, and that's how the story begins, and it's a very dark beginning, you know, for a manga series. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't say it's unpleasant, but it's a, it's a very tough first chapter to read, I think. But as time goes on, um, this series steadily becomes more and more inspiring. Um, two things um, are you know, in incredibly important in this series, I think, from a story perspective. And that, it, first of all, is the relationships that are built. Um, as I said before, you know, the kanji for autism is self-closing syndrome. Therefore, a lot of people, you know, even educators, don't understand what autism is. 
and can easily get confused. So when Hikaru um, first meets people, um, people don't know how to respond to him. Um, you know, they get angry at him, they get angry at Sachiko. Um, but uh, as Sachiko explains everything and they get to know Hikaru, um, their opinions steadily change and they start to be able to see the good in him. Um, so that's an incredibly important um, part of this series, you know, the relationships that are built. And the other thing is realizing, you know, how significant every little thing is. Um, because Hikaru has autism and, you know, he has difficulty communicating with people, understanding rules, um, etc, etc. He has difficulty, you know, developing, um, we could say. And because of that, um, every task that he achieves, you know, everything he, you know, is able to do is a huge achievement and really makes you realize how, um, you know, difficult it must be for children um, you know, adapting into society, you know, learning all the rules, etc, etc. Um, so as Hikaru grows up and he starts to become more and more, um, you know, social and more and more... He never really becomes independent, but he, he certainly doesn't need to be as looked after as he grows up. It, it's, you know, there's a great sense of triumph for every little thing he does, and that's a great feeling. Um, I'll probably... I'll never forget um, the yeah, page where um, Hikaru finally calls, you know, Sachigo his, you know, mom, um, because it's such a, you know, em a emotionally charged scene. Um, you know, it's been a long time um, since, you know, um, his birth, you know, he's quite, I wouldn't say old, but, you know, he's far older than any child should be for the first time calling him uh, his mom, mom. Um, but, and of course, Sachigo is wondering, you know, whether or not he would ever call her mom, um, but, you know, that happens, and it's such a powerful scene. Um, so that's just, you know, that's, those are the two most important things, I think, to do with the story of With the Light. Now, um, there is a criticism that I have found a lot online of With the Light, and that is that it is a bit over the top and melodramatic, etc., etc. Um, now, I, I want to counter this. Um, I, myself, am aut autistic. Um, not quite as autistic as Hikaru. Um, Hikaru is on the high spectrum of autism, um, whereas I have Asperger's syndrome, and that's on the low end of autism, so... Um, I don't really want to use the word afflicted because, you know, I don't consider autism to be an affliction, um, but, you know, I'm not quite as afflicted, I guess one could say, as Hikaru. Um, and therefore, you know, haven't had to struggle with quite as much, um, you know, as Hikaru has had to suffer with and all that. But still, though, um, the amount of scenes that I can relate to, and many of these scenes on, you know, um, I guess on outsider's perspective does seem over the top. Um, but, you know, speaking from personal experience, a lot of you know, the arguments that happen in it, a lot of the troubles that they suffer from, um, are things that actually happen in, you know, my life. Like, uh, so, actually, there was um, a manga tag that was um, done several months back by Pastel Sakura, I think it was, and in it, there was a question, you know, what is the most relatable manga you've ever read? And at the time, I had not read Hick um, With the Light for a long time, um, I hadn't completed it at that point either because many of the volumes had been out of print. So, um, I, you know, didn't know what to say for it. I said, you know, I wasn't really sure what manga I could relate to the most. But having completed this series, this series is the most relatable that, you know, in all of manga that I've read. Um, there are so many incidents that remind me of, you know, m real life events that happened to me. And it makes me feel, you know, if the triumph that happened in um, that life, you know, looking back and realizing, you know, all that I managed to achieve. So, definitely, <laughs> I'm not unbiased, I guess one could say, when it comes to this manga, but I just want to stress that what people call melodrama in the series um, is actually quite realistic, in my opinion. So, that's just something I wanted to point out. Now, um, that's the story. Uh, the artwork, um, this is a Jose manga. And um, because of that, it looks quite different to a lot of other manga I've read. Um, I don't really have that much Jose, to be honest. 
um, but it's got a very lovely look. Um, it's okay, so it's taken a lot of aspects from shoujo manga, which is you know the you know not really using panels, allowing things to flow into each other, kind of using flowery images, etc., etc., as well as having kind of um, a soft look. Now, because of um, the fact that it's a Jose, um, the art style is more realistic than shoujo. Um, there's very detailed backgrounds, um, etc., etc. Um, and overall, it's a very appealing looking manga. Um, it's very detailed, it looks very nice. Um, and it's, you know, from an artistic perspective, I really like it. Now, the only thing I will point out about the art is that whatever way the, um, the coloring was done for, you know, like title pages in um, the series, it does look a bit strange when it's turned to uh, monochrome, as happens with most manga. Um, so I'm just trying to find a good example of that here. Here's a good enough example. Um, so when it's like this, um, this actually seems tamer than um, later in the series. And later in the series, things get kind of get very messy in the color illustrations. I don't know how she did it in the color illustrations, but um, there seems to be, you know, uh, a lot of dark. Um, there seems to be loss of detail. Um, it seems slightly messy. So I don't. I I think. It would have benefited enormously from getting um, a color treatment in the English release, um, but um, it's it's a very appealing looking series. So from an artistic perspective as well, I think it looks very lovely. Now there are two things I want to point out. Now um, the first thing I want to discuss is Yen Press's treatment of this series. Um, Yen Press, um, when they released this, um, released it as two and ones. So the first volume of With the Light um, is basically the first two volumes of the Japanese release. Not only that, but the Japanese release was actually bigger than most Tonkaban. Um, a volume of With the Light in Japanese was about 250 pages, and that seems to be the standard length. So um, there, this is a big book. This is about well over 500 pages. Um, the translation is very um, clean. Um, as with a lot of slice and life manga, there are lots of translation notes because, as you know by this point, Japan is a different culture and um, it can be hard to understand sometimes, you know, a lot of things that happen in it. Um, but at the back, there's some very nice translation notes, um, so um, there's no problem with that. Not only that, but in the original Japanese, um, each uh, volume came with an essay. Um, written um, by various people to do with autism, and these um, essays have been translated into English. Um, so since this is a two-in-one, that means two essays. So uh, we have one here and one here. They're usually about maybe two or three pages long, so they're not, you know, massive things, but um, it's great to be able to read this. Um, so uh, also I want to point out the trim size. This is bigger than a standard, um, you know, Tankaban in terms of trim size. So let's get... Um, I don't have my yacht over here since I moved it, so let's just get the, you know, legal drug. Um, so, it's about this. So, I guess about maybe signature size. Um, you know, a bigger trim size. I guess because of the fact that it's aimed at more adult audiences. Um, you know, it has to be able to allow, you know, adults to read a little better. But it really allows the artwork to, um, kind of jump out at you. Um, so, um, that's something I really like. And plus, um, I want to point out, this isn't as heavy as it might look. Um, it is obviously heavier than, you know, many um, Tonkoban because of the fact that it's two and one and it's a bigger trim size. But it's not as heavy as it looks, so it's a comfortable reading experience. So that's just some, that's just some stuff I wanted to point out. The other thing I want to point out is the final volume of With the Light. Now, um, the, before I continue on, um, I just want to talk about the ending a little of um, With the Light. Now, no spoilers, of course, um, but uh, the author, the mangaka of um, this series, Kaiko Tobe, um, she became very ill um, near the end of With the Light. And uh, she actually passed away during um, this series, um, which, of course, means that the ending is not the original ending that she had wanted. Um, but um, I want to point out that they actually, in the uh, last volume, actually included some storyboards that she actually drew up in, um, the, in uh, the hospital. Um, so that's about two chapters worth. 
um, each one being about 40 pages, although each page contains two of the pages. Um, you see the, um, the storyboard on one part of the page and then the translation into English is on the other side of the page. For example, you know, here is the, um, I just want to check, yeah, here is the storyboard, here is the translation, and it shows, you know, like, you know, where you're supposed to read. So, um, that's how that works, and Kaiko Tobe chose to try to end um, with the light, um, you know, before she passed away. So, the last two chapters, they are actually an ending. Um, but they are a rushed ending. Now, for most series, you know, that would be a negative, I will admit. I did not enjoy the two, last two chapters as much as I did the other chapters of With the Light. But I'm not going to blame the mangaka for it. I can understand why she wanted to try to end this series and why she wanted to try to have give it some kind of conclusion, particularly for a lot of the story arcs. So I can understand why she chose to do that. Um, the other thing I want to point out is that this volume is one, you know, manga volume worth, um, because there were f uh, 15 volumes of With the Life released overall, and, you know, two and ones. That means um, volume seven is the last one to be a two and one, and then the final volume is just, you know, one. And uh, there wasn't enough pages to uh, make up one volume, um, just simply from the remaining chapters and the storyboard. So they actually included two one-shots um, that Kaiko Tobe did before um, she actually started with the light. Now these are not necessarily dealing with autism, you know, they're just dealing with, you know, motherhood and, you know, raising children, etc, etc, as well as, you know, relationships to children. Um, so they're, again, they're not as good, as I think, as with the light, you know, they're not as well developed, etc, etc, but they're still very good stories and, you know, overall I would definitely recommend you pick up the last volume, even though it looks you know, thinner and, you know, storyboards and, you know, not as good an ending, etc, etc. So I'm not going to blame Kaiko Tobi for that. So um, that's my, you know, review of With the Light. It is um, an extremely powerful series, at least for me and for a lot of other people I've heard, you know, who have read it. Um, will everyone, you know, have the same response to this manga as I did? Most certainly not. Um, you know, I... I have a kind of a different look outlook on this, I guess, than most other people, um, because I'm able to relate to it a lot stronger. But even so, I think this is a manga that everyone should read. Um, you know, particularly if you're, you know, into slice of life manga, if you're into drama, if you want to learn about, you know, autism, etc., etc. Um, and Yen Press have done a great job releasing this, um, and it, as I mentioned before, it was out of print. It's no longer out of print. The eight volumes of um, With the Light are available now, so you can get them if you want. I would recommend you buy the first volume, you give it a go, and you see what you think. Um, you know, but I, I'd be very surprised if you read it and you did not enjoy it. I think it's an exceptionally well-told story, and it's a series that, you know, help, really helped me um, kind of understand the strength of the manga medium. So that's my review with the light. Um, thanks for watching, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and bye-bye.